This is my newest upgrade for my DJI FPV goggles, and it might be the most important one yet. I call it my Stealth Setup, a DIY mod that helps shield your brain from constant EMF radiation every time you fly. If you've ever wondered whether the antennas on your goggles blasting radio frequencies near your eyes and skull are safe, you're not alone. I used to shrug it off until the comments on my latest video started piling up. I decided to dig in myself and the test results truly left me shocked. In this video, I'll break down exactly what this EMF protection mod is, how you can DIY it yourself for under $100, and why it might be a game changer for FPV pilots and creators who care about their long-term health. Upgrading your goggles to have EMF protection has huge benefits. And in this video, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know. If you fly FPV drones regularly or are just starting out, this might be the most important video you watched this year. So let's get started. First thing I did was order a few items that would be necessary to my EMF protection upgrade. I got Faraday cloth, which is a military grade fabric made from 99% woven silver used to completely block out EMF signal. Along with that, I got Faraday tape, which is the same thing as the cloth, but just tape. And lastly, I got an EMF reader, which gives a reading of how much EMF and RF signal is emitting from any object. When I tested out the RF signal for the first time, I fully expected this EMF reader not to work, but the test results completely shocked me. The EMF reader worked, and it showed how radio frequency from my own phone was off the charts, warning me to keep my distance from it. The same thing happened when I set up my FPV drone and turned everything on. The EMF reader was going crazy, showing that the radio frequency was approaching dangerous levels. I couldn't believe that I was holding up goggles to my head with with this type of signal that was constantly emitting at extremely high levels. This is when I realized I really needed to do something about this. And that kind of sucks because I was really trying to avoid confronting this like question about the radio frequency and like potentially the goggles and the whole drone system being harmful. My goal now is going to be finding a way to basically cover up the goggles so that it doesn't interfere with the actual, the, uh, the actual antennas, but it kind of like doesn't allow the radio frequency to go this way into the eyes and the brain and everything. You might be wondering, what is this EMF and RF and why are my DJI goggles emitting so much of it? The short answer is EMF stands for electromagnetic frequency and it's a measure of invisible waves of energy used in almost all of our modern technology. It's used in our cell phones, microwaves, Wi-Fi routers, x-rays, Bluetooth, and of course your FPV drone gear. Radio frequency is a specific band of electromagnetic frequency, and it's what our FPV drone gear uses to give us signal between the drone, the controller, and the goggles. It's the antennas on the goggles that transmit the video signal to the drone that transmit it then back to the goggles. DJI goggles are special in that they both receive and transmit radio frequencies, so that's why the signals are off the charts. In addition, the remote controller and drone itself also give off high levels of radio frequency. The dangers of radio frequency are still being studied, but it looks like this stuff is entirely disrupting our health. This stuff is everywhere and it's transmitting at dangerous levels. So that's why I took it upon myself to try and eliminate as much of it as possible without sacrificing any of the signal from the FPV gear. First thing I decided to do was tape up the goggles with Faraday tape. I took off all the antennas, accessories, and straps to start applying this modification. I used a little fabric knife to cut off excess tape and make sure I wasn't covering any fans or ports. This process took me way longer than I expected, but I wanted to be thorough and cover the inside of the goggles with multiple layers of tape. The trick with Faraday fabric is that it takes about two to three layers to completely block out all radio frequencies. The reason this isn't disrupting the video feed to my goggles is because I'm not taping the antennas, but rather the entire side of the goggles that's facing me when I wear it. If the antennas are not blocked, then the signal is completely unaffected. And side note, the original DJI antennas give off some of the most RF frequencies out of all the antennas I tried, so that's why I recommend upgrading your antennas. This way the signal will mainly shoot away from you and not all around your head like the DJI antennas do. Once I finished wrapping the goggles in the Faraday tape, I wrapped the foam padding as much as I could to give it that extra layer of protection. The beautiful thing about this modification 
modification is that if it turns out you don't like it, you can simply take the tape off without damaging the goggles. Once I was done, I turned on the goggles and the rest of the FPV setup to test out if this Faraday tape actually made any difference to blocking out harmful radio frequencies. To my surprise, I found out that the inside of the goggles were almost reaching zero levels of radio frequency without compromising the video signal from the antennas. This meant I reduced the amount of harmful EMF radiation to almost zero. Now the closer I was to the antennas, the more radio frequency there was, which is normal because I still needed the antennas to transmit signal. All in all, I was happy when I realized this EMF protection upgrade was actually working and made a significant difference. If you want to try making this EMF upgrade yourself, I made a simple DIY guide and video tutorial on how to do this. Link down below. One thing that I ordered that I didn't have time to use yet was the actual cloth material. Now, when I was testing this out, it worked really well at blocking the signal. I think the eye area is as protected as it can possibly be currently, but the only thing is like the head sort of region. And so my thought is I have this really simple simple little black hat and I'm thinking of layering in the cloth cutting it out and then layering it in to the hat maybe like three layers and seeing how much that does so essentially I can slip on the hat just like this and then throw the goggles on gives a little bit more protection I know it's not perfect but I also have one other thing coming tomorrow which is a scarf sort of thing it's an EMF uh, RF protection scarf it looks really awesome but then that way I can kind of protect this area have the goggles and the mask taped up and then have the hat also. I know it's kind of overkill, but I'm just having fun. I'm testing it out. Yeah, let's see what we can create. I'm gonna do a little bit of search on how to actually cut something out circular that can fit in here. So yeah, let's do that. I started by cutting triangles, but quickly realized I have no idea what I'm doing. Even with my girlfriend trying to give me tips, I still had no clue. My girlfriend does clothing design, so I knew she would be perfect for helping me with this project. She even never heard of EMF radiation, so when I showed her the EMF reader and how much radio frequency her own phone was emitting, she was completely shocked. This stuff is real, guys. I recommend you try it out yourself. The EMF reader I have cost me less than 40 bucks, and it blew my mind. My girlfriend absolutely took the reins and did her magic with with clothing design. It all happened so quick, so I don't fully understand what we did, but roughly speaking, she made me cut out some triangles and then she did the rest of the magic by sewing all the pieces together, trimming it and resizing. I twisted some knobs and after six hours of nonstop crafting, the hat was finally finished just before midnight. <laughs> I love it. No, no, but I'm gonna wear it like this. <laughs> Okay, after a few little adjustments, it was then ready and fit perfectly along with my brand new Faraday scarf. The scarf protects the final layer all the way down to the neck. The next day, I had a test flight with my FPV drone, so it was the perfect place to give this full stealth upgrade a try. The connection and setup of the FPV drone was flawless as always, and there was zero difference to the video signal after putting on the entire stealth setup. The hat was comfortable and prevented my goggles from slipping and the mask was lightweight and comfortable. My stealth setup now comes with a few different components. Firstly, I have the upgraded goggles that have Faraday tape protecting my eyes from EMF. Then I have the custom Faraday cloth hat which protects the upper half of my head. And lastly, I have the Faraday mask which is easy to slip on and off and offers the rest of the protection from the nose down. This setup gives me full protection for long days of flying and I'm able to wear whatever piece of protection I want or feel is necessary. This allows me to just custom fit and look however I wanna look. Overall, I was really proud of this setup and upgrade. 
If you're looking for more of an in-depth explanation of how I put this on my goggles, what are the different accessories that I made, a more in-depth explanation about EMF, the health effects, and then all of the supplies that you need, I made a super easy to follow guide with a tutorial video attached to it. So you can find that linked below. If you have DJI goggles or regular, just digital stuff that you're using with other FPV drones, this modification will work for all of that. It'll go through everything you need to do the same modification that I have, and then give you a whole bunch of different other accessories and options. All of the materials, both higher quality and budget are linked in there. So you'll be able to find everything if you want to do this modification for your goggles. After this entire week of working on this project, I have a few thoughts about this modification that I made. Well, first of all, I think it's really easy to rush into new technology and to embrace it without thinking of any of the side effects. The radio frequency on this is just one of those things that it's there and I think it's not even talked about that much. This radio frequency is the same that goes into cell towers, phone, your laptop, microwaves, and we've come to know that those things are pretty harmful. Like you shouldn't be talking on the phone with your phone right up to your head. Like we know that there's tissue heating that's going on and like it can cause headaches and fatigue and insomnia and like all these things. Like we know the blue light from our phones is not good before bed because it'll disrupt our sleep. So slowly, I think people are waking up to the fact that all of this new technology, it's so great and it's cutting edge, but it does come with side effects. It does come with things that you need to look out for. That's one thought that I had. The next thing is that a lot of these studies that talk about the potential health effects of radio frequency, they're all sort of inconclusive and they don't draw any like direct correlation. All of them kind of hint at the same problems and health effects. And I think one of the biggest things, this might be just me, you know, going off on my own little crazy tangent, but I think it might be made to be inconclusive so that these big companies don't have any problems or issues on their on their hands because if it was conclusive like for sure you're gonna get these health problems from doing this i think they would lose out on a ton of business like their main motive is not to keep you safe it's to make profit off of their business and to grow their business and to make money for their shareholders right and develop new innovations and things so you are responsible for your own well-being and at the end of the day that's true for literally everything in your life and so technology is no different like you need to be careful with what you're using and how often you're using it this is really just one little simple step sure there might be people who you know call you a tinfoil conspiracy kind of person at the end of the day like you just need to pick up an emf meter and do the test yourself and you're genuinely going to be shocked. Everyone that I was showing it to this week gave me crazy reactions. Like they've never seen something like this before. The test results that they did for themselves when I handed them the EMF meter was shocking for them. I'm not making this video or talking about this to bash DJI or any other drone company. All I want to do is kind of help people be aware of the fact that you're responsible for your own well-being. And it's not the responsibility of these companies. Sure, they can do things to help and they can make modifications and little accessories like this that help protect you, but I don't know, it, it almost harms them in a way. Like if they do things that are like health products, help you reduce negative effects from their own products, that means that their own products are negative for your health. So they're not really gonna be doing that. There's already companies popping up and making cool accessories that protect you from all this stuff. I feel like with this new technology, FPV drones have not been around that long. And so with the technology developing so rapidly, I think it is really necessary to take a step back, take a look at it and be like, what is affecting me and what can I do to protect myself? One big thing is the radio frequency, really no denying it. It's the way that this technology works and it's proven to affect us maybe in not the most conclusive ways, or maybe they are conclusive and we've just been told that they're not conclusive just to not scare us or anything. At the end of the day, do your own research. This modification is really easy to do and test yourself. And if not, you learn something new and you only spent 20 bucks on doing this modification. And the best part is you can take all this tape off and just have your goggles as is. If you're looking to do this modification, I have the guide linked down below. I'll be making a bunch more videos uh, on this topic and this, this modification. But if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe here on the channel for more drone content. So with that being said, I'll see you in the new video very, very soon. Peace.